The RSIA report commissioned in 2011 by then President Goodluck Jonathan aims to eliminate redundancy in the public service. Chaired by former head of the civil service, Stephen Oronsoye, it proposed merging and abolishing various government agencies to streamline operations, reduce costs, and enhance efficiency. However, these recommendations remained on paper for 12 years, with successive governments failing to implement them. Today, the Federal Executive Council, chaired by President Bola Tinubu, has decided to act. So in a very bold move, today, this administration under the leadership of President Bola Ame Tinubu, consistent again with his courage to take very far-reaching decisions in the interest of Nigeria, has taken a decision to implement the so-called Orosaye uh, report. Now, what that means is that uh, a number of agencies, commissions, and some departments have actually been scrapped. Some have been merged, while others have been subsumed. Others, of course, have also been moved from some ministries to others where government feels they will operate a better. Notable mergers include the National Agency for Control of AIDS, merging with the Center for Disease Control, and the Federal Radio Corporation merging with the Voice of Nigeria. Additionally, agencies like the National Salaries, Income and Wages Commission will be subsumed into the Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal Commission. Hadisa Bala Husman, the special advisor to the President on Policy Coordination, provides an extensive list of affected agencies, highlighting that a committee chaired by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation will ensure swift implementation. The committee would look at the administrative restructuring and also the legislative amendments required to ensure the full implementation of the recommendations. The other aspects of um, recommendations that have also been passed to the committee to relook at. It's important for us to um, appreciate the bold um, approval granted by Mr. President at the Federal Executive Council. This has been um, a recommendation that has been, I think, in the Nigerian discourse from 2012. Um, we're here in 2024 and it's so been approved and the aspects that are applicable to mergers, as I said, subsuming and scrapping and relocation of agencies are those that have been so considered arising from the totality of the panel report. Amid economic challenges, the special presidential panel reviewing the National Social Investment Programme has submitted its report to President Tinubu. Led by the Finance Minister, the panel recommends the immediate resumption of direct payments to households targeting 12 million households and 60 million Nigerians. However, questions arise about how identified issues will be addressed for proper beneficiary verification. What we're looking to do here is the triangulation of this data set to ensure that not only are we using at the register that is properly, properly been, been uh, uh, populated, but that we also do proper verification of every individual that will benefit from, from that investment, uh, that social investment program, which means we will give commitment to ensuring that no one is paid twice because you have to be properly ID'd before you can benefit from, from that program. As the payments resume, each payment will be verifiable there will be cross, as uh, the Honorable Minister for Communication, in Innovation, and digital, digital Economy has said, and of course, he's the expert in, in this area, there's a tri triangular um, cross verification and coordination of all the um, aspects of payment. The, the beneficiary, their account, their NIN, their BVN, and of course, at the end of the day, where the payment actually lands, the account or the um, mobile wallet. So that's the big difference. This time, it is with integrity and with uh, transparency and accountability. Approvals reached at the meeting extend to other sectors, including works and education.
The Federal Executive Council's actions on the Orosarian report signifies a shift in Nigeria's governance. However, the key now lies in meticulous implementation and sustained oversight to ensure transparency and accountability. From the Presidential Villa, Adesua, Omoruan, Arise News.